Hello, welcome back. We're here with another visualization. This one is a laparoscopic hysterectomy visualization. Visualization is a tool that helps you see yourself succeed and practice success. It is used by several athletes and high performers to build confidence and enhance performance. I'm going to lead you through this laparoscopic hysterectomy. I would recommend that you close your eyes, visualize each step as if you were performing the surgery. We'll start after our surgical timeout. You placed a Foley and your choice of uterine manipulator. You decide to enter the abdomen with a varus needle. You find the base of the umbilicus and make a five millimeter incision with a knife. You place your varus and apply gentle downward pressure. You hear one click through the fascia and then a second click as your varus pierces the peritoneum. A 10 cc syringe of saline is pushed through the needle and flows freely. You ask for the insufflation on and your opening pressure is three. Once the abdomen is insufflated, you remove the varus needle and enter with your trocar. You do a survey of the upper abdomen, looking at the liver, the stomach, and the left upper quadrant, which appear normal, and then you place the patient in maximum Trendelenburg. You place your other ports, and you get a clear view of the uterus and ovaries. The surgery starts with the right round ligament. In this case, we will open the retroperitoneum. You grasp the round ligament and coagulate it with your ligature device. Once completely through the round ligament, you use your blunt grasper and ligature to tent the posterior leaf of the broad, coagulating and cutting with your ligature. You are staying superficial, just in the peritoneum. You are traveling parallel to the infundibulo pelvic ligament. Once the posterior leaf is open, you ask your assistant to grasp the peritoneum surrounding the ovarian vessel and pull it up to the anterior abdominal wall and then towards their port on the left. By doing this, it opens the retroperitoneal space for you. You start by finding a plane where the retroperitoneal fat opens and you sweep it laterally, keeping the fat with the lateral vessels. As you do this, you find your ureter on the medial leaf of the broad ligament. You visualize it and gently dissect it out so that you can easily visualize it in the future. You then create a window in the peritoneum clear above the ureter and under the IP. You use your ligature to coagulate the IP and cut it, leaving more char on the stay side. You travel under the ovary with your ligature, coagulating and cutting in the direction of the uterus and parallel to the floor, cutting the posterior peritoneum. You repeat this process on the opposite side. You then assess the anterior leaf of the broad ligament to create the bladder flap. You start where you transected your round ligament and begin to dissect the anterior peritoneum in layers, making sure your anterior leaf is very thin you see the bladder reflection and you are aiming for this area. Your assistant may be elevating the peritoneum for you so that you can see the tissue is thin and that it is only the peritoneum you are taking as opposed to the bladder or underlying vessels. Once you have dissected the bladder to the midline, you repeat this on the opposite side. Once the bladder has been completely dissected off of the cervix, you assess the uterine arteries. You skeletonize the uterine artery and then visualize and palpate the anterior and posterior manipulator cup. You place your ligature at the level of the internal os to take your uterine vessel above the manipulator cup, inside the manipulator cup. You then, once you coagulate and cut your uterine vessels, you then lateralize the uterine vessel to clear it off off and lateral to the manipulator cup, staying inside the cup. Once the entire cup is cleared, you use the bovi hook to make your colpotomy on the cup and amputate the cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. This is pulled through the vagina and then passed off of the field. The vagina is then closed with your choice of suture. The end. Please 
leave any comments. I always appreciate feedback and would be happy to do other visualizations. So let me know what you want to hear. Have a great day.